and now is our <coughs> table topic. And tonight our uh, uh, host for table topic is Joyce, and she replied my question that uh, so the first time she went to uh, the kindergarten and she thought that is the the chance to face the real world by by uh, facing the endless fight with toys. And that's welcome, Joyce. It's a long while, not seeing you guys, uh, Mr. <laughs> and I hope you're ready for a brand new adventure, and good luck. So the first question <laughs> is, what was the greatest adventure in your childhood? What was the greatest adventure in your childhood? Alex. What? <laughs> I think um, when I was little and I just got my bicycles for the first time and I like to move around uh, before I have a bike. So when I have a bike, I can travel like a far away. So I live in Xinchu. And uh, uh, I just ride bicycles uh, like from the Chenhuang Miao, the city god temple, mm -hmm. and to, to the Nanliao uh, fish pond. Mm -hmm. So probably that's like a 10 kil kilometers by riding my bicycles. I think that's a great adventure for me because uh, because in the past I can only like uh, in in my parents' vehicles I can like uh, take buses and that's a different different perspective. Just like you just got your motorcycles and you got your like cars like you have less freedoms you can go anywhere you want and uh, if you are in bad mood you can just drive to some place, like a, take a walk, have some sea breeze, and you can think about it, like can relax a lot. So I think uh, that's an adventure and also gives you an, a, a, another level of freedom. So that's adventure and also an opportunity for you like to, to be with yourself. It is like a vehicles, no, no matter it's a it's bicycles, it's motorcycles, so of course that gives you a room for you to think about many things in life. So I think everything comes in good and bad. So enjoy your adventure. Thank you. Actually, I, I didn't expect that trial can have this deep and thoughtful adventure. So, uh, after you grow up, do you plan and have regular adventure intake? And uh, what's your favorite mini adventure? I mean, so you can make your life adventurous every day, maybe perhaps. Um, what's your favorite uh, mini adventure? Daniel. I think is before my first job I got a chance to go abroad for about half a year yeah and it changed me a lot about my my sight for this world and my thinking and also I meet a lot of people from every different country <clears throat> but uh, after that I start to work and I don't have another chance to, to take a like a half half year half year break to do it again. So and also I think you know, if you do this kind of job at this kind of trip in your twenties and I mean age, twenty years old, 
30 something years old or 40 something years old is it feels very different yeah so I actually encourage everyone if you can do this kind of treat you should do it earlier because if you uh, think that you can do this until you're after you retire but uh, I think it feel so much different like uh, if you retire then maybe you have no courage to do something uh, a, little, a little more challenge like uh, ice, uh, I, uh, skydiving this kind of thing so if you got a chance you should do this as soon as possible thank you super scared and it reached a certain stage that I want to scream and I want to flee I just want to <laughs> and then just run off the planet it's <laughs> true it's serious and it happened so many times and the truth is I don't have any ways to solve it I don't have ways to deal with it the only thing I can do is just to use my logic mind to control myself to not scream out because I don't want to disturb the other passengers and I don't want to um, make the other people's schedule become complicated. So this is the only control to myself that, that I just tell myself, don't scream out, <laughs> sit there. <laughs> and then for the rest, I just let my mind flow. And I think that's the human nature that many times we want to control so many things that we want to control who loves us, who likes us, and we want to control if we can go to a better company to get some awesome job. But most of the time what we can control is only ourselves. It's only the way that we think of the world and the way that we think of different situation. So just let it be. both mentally and physically challenging and you can choose someone in this room as your partner who would you choose if you you will have a challenging adventure who would you choose as your partner to go through all these challenging things Luke. <laughs> He won't pick me. <laughs> yeah, I will choose my brother because who else can I choose? <laughs> I just say I will beat you all and improve <laughs> so In fact, as I'm finding my job during last for the past few months, and I feel like you. You definitely gonna judge yourself if you get rejected or you don't pass some similar other test. And I feel like if there's no my brother, then I can't have the direction when I got when I miss the direction. So I think sin a lot, but it's weird to say something <laughs> in, like this in public. <laughs> uh, so, but the question is to me, so I have to say that. <laughs> so I think that if I take him with me in the adventure, then I'll feel like 
I'll be safe and he will lead him. Like, for example, like finding a job, he older than me, like 10 years, and he walked the road and I just walked by him. So if there is some dog poop, then I can step <laughs> over. And maybe just step on it and say, hey, be careful, there's a dog poop. Don't go there. <laughs> so, in conclusion, I think he will be the best partner if I have something in her, no matter mentally or physically, and thank you for listening. You pick a right one for the right question. <laughs> he never says something nice to me like this. <laughs> never, literally never. <laughs> That's <laughs> says that uh, life is adventure and adventure is all about risk and uncertainty. So what are you most afraid of losing in your life adventure? What are you most afraid of losing in your in your life adventure? Yeah, and now you will come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I'm most scared to lose in my life's adventure, I think um, the ability to love. What one to get up? The ability to love. That goes from the real case from my father. And when he gets older and older, uh, I felt like we are almost like a stranger right now. It's happening right now. But at the same time, I'm somebody's father and going to be a uh, maybe wonderful, the best one in the world, the best father in, in her world, in my daughter's world. So that's a conflict to me. On one part, I feel like I'm some kind of stranger to my father, to my native family. And I feel not so, so, how do I say, not friendly, but so lovely to my father. But I have to convince myself to remember this. I still got my own family to take care of, and I still have my respons respons responsibility and role to play. So, I told myself, I have to keep this faith. Keep this faith. 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 To love as possible as you can. Even you cannot experience, experience that love from your parents, but I can do it by myself. That's all. Yep. <laughs> So, uh, after hearing all this sharing, what do you think of that adventure? I mean, would you consider it as an opportunity to explore a whole new world or just escape from the reality? Would you consider an adventure as an opportunity to explore a whole new world or just escape from the reality? Uh, a life adventure is full of surprising and uncertainty. So I think the adventure is like um, like you said, is is like what you have to explore, what you have to the journey you want to explore yourself. For me, life is like finding what who you are. For example. When I graduate from college, I know I'm not good at my major biology. So I chose to become 
a sales representative, an international one, because I knew that I was good in English. Oh, I am good at English, also now. But from time to time, I saw that I was not good at like negotiating with my customers, even though I was I know I can assist them, I can help them. But I'm not good at negotiation. So I love the field of international sales representative. One day, my friend told me that there was a job as an editor. I have no choice, so I took this job. But this job, I, was, I am still working in it's for three years. Now I enjoy this job a lot. I, I'm, I'm not quite surprising because even though I'm an active person, I would like something to calm me down and read and enjoy the life adventure through the articles in my magazine. So that's my sharing. Thank you. Okay, so I have, so I hope you enjoyed tonight's question and the sharing.